The Lord is truly risen. Alleluia. To him be glory and power for all the ages of eternity. Alleluia. Alleluia. Today's Easter Sunday, Mass, will be celebrated by Father Brian Zelenowski, pastor of Our Lady of Charity Parish in South Buffalo. Our director of music and worship is Brian Meyer, and I am Maureen Brown, serving as your lector. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. Alleluia. It's Easter Sunday. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. We gather as an Easter people, but we must prepare ourselves for this encounter by first calling to mind our sins. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord, have mercy. mercy. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are risen from the dead. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us of our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Stay through your only begotten Son, have conquered death and locked for us the path to eternity. Grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may, through the renewal brought by your Spirit, rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Gal Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We are witnesses of all he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. is good, is good. 
reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ your life appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ is risen. He has risen indeed. You remember that's one of my favorite things to do at Easter, so make sure that you do that at home or wherever you're watching this. On this Easter day, anytime you hear Christ is risen, respond wholeheartedly. He's risen indeed. Use your alleluias. But the thing about this day, this day of great joy, is that do we believe? How good are we at following directions? Do we believe in the directions that Jesus has given us? Do we believe that in the midst of all that's going on, in the midst of you watching this, not in a church, but that you're actually watching this at home or somewhere else, that God is still winning. God still gives us hope and an opportunity here. What's interesting about this Easter Sunday, as we hear these readings, when we go to the Gospel of John, we hear about Mary Magdala running to the tomb and seeing that it's empty. Mary going to really pray and probably anoint the body of Jesus. But as she gets there and sees the tomb empty, she runs and tells the disciples. And as Peter and the beloved disciple run to the tomb, it's again a sign that they don't fully get the message. How many times did Jesus tell them over and over and over that I'm going to have to suffer, die, and then rise? And then you will know God's plan of salvation for you. Pay attention to the directions. But they don't, just like we don't. I mean, if you're honest with yourself, how many directions that have been recommended by so many people for this coronavirus pandemic, did you originally not follow? Think about that. 
There's the six foot spacing between people, the number of people in a room. We all think we know better, don't we, sometimes? We're no different than those disciples in the time of Jesus. But what the disciples discover today is that Jesus was right, he was authentic, he was true. His message was real for us. That's why I love this image of the angel on the ambo here. The image of this angel, I th love to think about it as that, is the angel looking and simply like at the tomb, I imagine this angel sitting going, did they not get it? He said it over and over, did they just not get it? Well, that is a reminder to all of us. Do we just not get it that our God is a God of life, a God of hope, a God of joy, a God of hope and of love. And when we do get it, then we hear what that first reading from the Acts of the Apostles is all about. Peter says in that first reading that he is a believer and he's a witness to all the great things of the resurrection. And so he wants to share that belief with everyone. That no matter what trial, tribulation, no matter what hardship, no matter what went on and they went through, Peter believes that is a message for us, that no matter what we're going through, no matter the trial, tribulation, the darkness, isolation, sickness, whatever it might be that we're going through, believe, have hope. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. And that is a message of joy, that no matter where we are on our life's journey, the message is of hope and salvation. God's love endures forever. That's a great Easter message for us. I want to leave you with a little story. Uh, in the midst of all that's been happening and all these different sharings of things on Facebook and whatever, there was a mom who shared about her son. I believe the son is 12 or 13 years old and was about to have a big birthday party and was really looking forward to it. But then all the isolation and the rules from the CDC had come out and her, the mom saw the son making phone calls to all his friends and she thought he was just calling to tell them that his birthday party had to be canceled. But the mom overheard what the boy was saying. He'd say, Johnny, I'm a, unfortunately, I can't have the birthday party because of all that's going on. But I want to know, how are you doing? Is there anything that I can do for you? Can I give you something? Do you need help with any homework that I can help you with over the phone? This boy, in the midst of canceling his birthday party, was a witness to hope for others. That's what we're all called to do, particularly at this time. Find the message of hope on this Easter day and share it with one another by some small action. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so, now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of our holy baptism, by which we once renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So I ask you to respond with a hearty I do to these baptismal promises. Do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? Do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. I'm going to come down and bless you with the holy water. At home, let's pretend it's coming to you with my room on this Easter day. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Knowing that we have a God of hope, we now turn to that God of hope and offer our needs and our prayers. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, like St. Peter, may he continue to lead the church in witnessing to the joyful truth of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all who have dedicated their lives to God, 
that they may look for the things that are in heaven and be Christ's witnesses in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those unjustly deprived of their freedom, that they may draw fresh hope of freedom from the mystery of the resurrection, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those affected by the coronavirus pandemic, the sick, the isolated, doctors, hospital staff, and for those who have lost employment, may our prayers bring hope and comfort to all of them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the family of God gathered here in Easter joy, that we may bear witness to the risen Christ and reflect him in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, that they may rise to eternal life in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. Pray for this Mass intention, which will be offered for each and every one of you on this Easter day. This intention is for you. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Gracious, risen Jesus, we ask you to hear these prayers. We ask you now to present them to your Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands that will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please pray with me now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours might be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May for the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice of your hands, hands, for the praise, praise and glory of his name, name for our, our good, good and good of all his holy church. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to laud you yet head more gloriously, when Christ our Passover her has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising he restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The history of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We humbly pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with all the clergy and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her beloved husband, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer some sign of Easter peace. Please know that the peace of this altar and of the risen Lord is being extended to you wherever you're watching this, and share that Easter peace with those around you. On Misere nobis, on you stay, quitolis pacatamundi, misere nobis, on you stay, quitolis pacatamundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, Alleluia, Alleluia. Thanks be to God, Alleluia.